Hey everybody, welcome back to another Diecast Review. Today we are taking a look at Mark Martin's 1991 Hardy's 500 winner, uh, which was at, at Atlanta. And um, this is a new NASCAR Classics release. Uh, you can see here it's the NASCAR Classics box, so everything is the same on the NASCAR Classics except for the sticker. One of 516 for the Folgers 1991 Atlanta win. Obviously 1992 would be the next season, the greatest finale in probably NASCAR history. Um, but it does get a stat card, so we do have that. The Hardy's 500 winner. It was on November 17th, 1991. Started fourth on the afternoon, and he led 190 laps of 328. Uh, six cautions for 37 laps and one by 10.4 seconds. We just got done with an Atlanta race that literally ended. I say ended. That was literally the closest finish in Atlanta's motor speedway history. So kind of glad we don't have a 10-second gap. All right, let's go ahead and get on to the car, though, because it is our Folgers number six, um, but it's got just a couple little details that are really the nice parts. Uh, the biggest thing is the big smudge on the door. That's kind of the big noticeable part. Um, we got our Folgers paint scheme here. You can see there's a little bit of buildup here on the nose, but it's pretty clean. It's it's kind of, um, it's kind of, I don't know how to say faded. They don't have a ton of buildup here on the nose, just little bits, but... It is enough to kind of darken the nose. Um, white lettering on the Goodyear Eagles there. We got our number six. We've got Folgers, Valvoline. You can see all these sponsors here. We have so many of them. So a lot of the contingency sponsors. Valvoline, Ford. There's probably a couple missing sponsors in there as well. Uh, we got Sunny Delight, Folgers here on the back. DIN number is 319. And then the trunk does open up to see the fuel cell. You can't really see it, but it is a, a, a gray chassis with a red fuel cell and a black tube. Uh, so you can see it is the gray chassis underneath here for the, for the base on this car. Um, on the right side, same as the left, nothing really changing. We don't have any massive race detail over here. Um, they are recreating just from a few photos, so you're not going to get near the detail that you get on the modern race wins, but you do get, you know, some raced up front end here, you know, some build up, and you do get that noticeable smudge there on that, on that left side door. So, um, I guess I could show the, I forgot to show the hood because these are unique. I got to show that off. Um, so there's the undercarriage or the motor detail. You can see we got a red, um, red blocks and uh, silver valve covers with a silver air filter on top. The radiator up front here, another one over here. So um, not terrible detail. Is it, is it top notch? I mean, no, but this also isn't too crazy expensive like the University Racing. Those are really high quality die casts. If you've never had a University Racing die cast, they're really, really high quality. Um, but of course because of that they also are a little more expensive, but they like I said Quality wise you will not get much better than the university racing cars. Those are some of the best um, But anyway guys that'll pretty much wrap up the review on this one You can find it at rasdiecast.com. Yeah, you can head over there to find any of your race win diecast needs That is uh, my site. That is how to support the channel. I don't do uh, channel memberships and that kind of stuff All I ask is that if you're looking for a diecast you like and you saw it on the channel Go ahead and hop over there and, and pick it up from there or uh, if it's not in stock, then, uh, well, I tried. But at least it gives me a way to, um, you know, still service the channel and all the people that um, keep the channel moving. So uh, anyway, guys, that'll wrap up the video. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.